Hello everyone, this is Kerry with Project Nerd. I'm here at the Tallgrass Film Festival interviewing probably no, well actually it is bias, uh, probably my favorite movie being shown this particular weekend. I have Will, the jack of all trades, the caterer, the writer, director, star of the movie called Doubting Thomas. Um, so with that, I just want to jump right in. So obviously I have my own opinion of the story but before we get into my kind of questions, how would you describe the overall um, aspect and storyline mm -hmm. of the movie that you created? Well, I, I think it's an original idea, and um, it's meant to be very much of the now, uh, very specific to this moment um, in our country, in our world, and um, you know where we are as uh, human beings and the myth of, of race and the other and... Um, you know, empathy towards everyone and uh, and who we're bringing into the world. Absolutely. I, I appreciate where they explain it. We're going to get more into detail about it, right? So the, the story, as the trailer kind of identifies, stars your character and your wife, and your wife is pregnant. You're expecting, I believe, your first child in this That's movie. Right. And as the baby is being born, there's a huge twist, so what is that twist that you find out? The twist is that uh, our baby looks like uh, an African-American child. Right. And uh, we look, well, I look like, I look, and my wife looks like a white lady. Yeah. And um, we have a kid that, that does not look like it could come from the two of us. Absolutely. And I think it's a very, the imagery that you have in the trailer, and I hope everybody has a chance to look at that, the imagery of trying to capture being a, a first-time father to realizing that may or may not be your child, right? You go and you show what that would probably look like in a real setting. But now there, there's another change in the storyline as well because your best friend in the movie is, is African-American. Right. So there's a storyline, it seems like, of not only you and your wife and your child, but also a friend. How did you choose to capture that particular moment within the storyline? Well, that moment where he sees his child for the first time. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's really one of my favorites. And it's, it's the kind of thing that anyone who has become a parent or has even thought about right. that moment, yeah, they can't help but put themselves into that and how would right. I react, uh, especially when the woman you love, your partner in life, is telling you, I'm just as confused as you are. I yeah. swear to God. Right. I don't know what just happened. Because in other movies, you, you typically see like, oh, actually, I need to tell you something. Right. But y your movie doesn't do that. That's the difference. Yeah. yeah I think that that's exactly. what's amazing about the story you created is the beginning of the story is the child being born. Mm -hmm. But it's how you choose not only a, as a husband, but as a father and as a best friend to continue with that storyline. So how, how did you choose to capture that arc in that storyline? It's not just first time father. Right, now you've right. got different aspects of the story that you're trying to get across in this movie. Well, it's very important that we believe uh, that Tom, my character, is at least trying to get on board right. with the idea. And to him his his wife and his relationship and the family that they are building together the two of them is the most important mm -hmm. and he's deciding i'm going to honor that i believe her i trust her i'm with her we're a team and then as he does that it becomes more difficult right as as people start to from the outside looking in question it judge it um come to tom with observations, the way he's being treated, the way uh, others are coming up with their own story. Yeah. Or wanting some kind of explanation that doesn't seem plausible. Right. The one that. Tom but you is also, selling. like, your character doesn't want to believe it. He doesn't even. He doesn't want to believe that she could have cheated on Absolutely. him. Absolutely. Absolutely not. And it really, for a lot of people, they don't believe that Tom would even try to make this right. leap. They say, oh, no way. You get the test immediately. You say, oh, you're my Because that's what people expect in other movies, then, right? Exactly. You expect that storyline because it's been yeah. overproduced. But you right. took a different angle. Why did you choose that angle, right? Why did you choose not well, to follow the norm uh, you and maybe know, do this? It's story? really the way my life has played out. Okay. Um, I realized um, not too long ago that it's rare for a white male um, to have most of my close friends happen to be not white. Okay. 
and that's just been my experience so i haven't really realized how rare that is sometimes so um you know i put myself imaginatively in those circumstances right um my best friend who happens to be black if my baby came out black i honestly believe that it would not occur to me that he's the father okay and people can tell me you know you're kidding yourself whatever but i would go to him and say can you believe it we got to find this guy right. i wouldn't say oh my god you slept with my wife but, because but that's the relationship we have. Gotcha. So it seems like you pulled from your personal life in, in this particular mm-hmm. movie. So is that why you chose to also not only direct it but star in this? Because you felt like you could capture that It is. Story you know, better? Joe's uh, the, the best friend. I have I have a few people I call best friend, close friends. Um, Joe and I came up with the initial story from the true story of his father who was killed in police custody, uh, Arapahoe County, as a matter of fact. Oh, wow. When Joe was, uh, uh, you know, in elementary school. Yeah. And that was the seed of the story that became about this couple and their best friend. But the possibility of the explanation of a recessive gene without giving too much away came from the story of his of his father. And it was very personal. Yeah. Um, to him and then the, to the two of us as we created it. And it it is really what you said Carrie about kind of as we progressed with it it became clear you know this is this is ours we're going to tell it the way we want Joe's the one who said you have to be in it you have to yeah. play the guy um because at one point it was a story that we wanted to get the movie made right do the script and have somebody take it and it's harder to make it if it's yeah starring me well, I, yeah. I think you did an amazing job. Thank you. I, I'm really hoping that that our audience out there really takes a look. I think you you mentioned it in the current climate we're in now. I think a story like this that shows it from a positive viewpoint, right? I think that that's what we talked about. Is it's not anything like what you expect it to be, and I think you captured it very well, not only with the imagery, but in the direction that you decided to take this particular story. And it's obviously personal. So I, I really appreciate you sitting down with us, talking us through oh all of those details. Uh, with that, uh, obviously, we want to make sure that everybody out there has an opportunity to see this. Me too. Uh, so <laughs> with that, how can our audience get, get in, in touch with this movie, mm-hmm. get this movie out there? How can we get everybody to get a chance at this? Well, I'm learning how to do that. DoubtingThomasMovie.com is our website. And from there, you can find Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, nice, all of that. And... Um, yeah, follow us, and yeah. um, you know we're trying to build an audience, and Absolutely. we've just started putting it out into the world. This is only really our third screening, okay, um, at at a festival, right? Uh, so we did L.A. Okay. and then New York area, and now it's like right. How are you liking tall right grass? Right down the middle. I love it. I'm. I don't want to go back to L.A. I yeah. love it here. I'm, it's Wichita, right? Hey, I'm. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. How comfortable I am. Yeah, here. like it's it's been really welcoming and. Um, I'm, I'm super excited to see how uh, people respond to the film. Yeah, it shows in, in how you not only came and, and met with us, but also how you describe your movie. And, and I really appreciate you taking the time. Again, thank you guys so much. We have Will with Doubting Thomas. Good luck to you. Again, everybody, go watch this movie. It's amazing. Hopefully uh, you get the story that we try to portray today. Thank you so much, Carrie.